Hi boys and girls, my name is Emily Jones. I am the field reporter for the Texas Rangers, the baseball team, and today I am going to read a book that I wrote called A Place for Everyone. So here we go. At College Hill Elementary, the halls are filled with laughter, the classrooms are brimming with knowledge, and the playground is covered in children running, jumping, swinging, and shooting hoops. There are all kinds of students at College Hill. Some are big, some are small, some are short, some are tall. Some have dark skin, some have light, some are left-handed, and some are right. Some have blonde hair, some have brown, most wear a smile, but some wear a frown. In Miss Sarah's class, it's free time, which means all the children can play in whatever area of the classroom they choose. There's the drawing station, the building station, the cutting station, and the spelling station. But Henry can't seem to find a station that fits him. Henry doesn't have many friends at school. He's only been going to College Hill for a couple of weeks. He had to leave his old school after his mom got a new job across town. Every day, Henry goes to school and keeps to himself watching the other children and wishing he was a part of a group. A group in free time, a group on the playground, or a group in the lunchroom. Henry is shy and doesn't want to draw attention to himself, so he keeps to himself and he keeps quiet at school, all the while wishing for new friends who will welcome him into their group. But then one day, Henry realizes there were different people in every group. In free time, Hayes and Lila and Ben were all at the building station, but at recess, Hayes was playing basketball with Mason and Hattie. And in the lunchroom, Lila was eating with Sydney and Hunter. But just as Henry was noting all, noticing all of this, Ben came up to him and asked if he would like to eat lunch at the table with him. Henry gladly accepted the invitation, but didn't know what to think. All of the groups were mixed up. What had happened? That's when Miss Sarah stepped in to explain. There are rules at school, that's for sure, but there are no rules when it comes to your friends, Miss Sarah told Henry. You can be friends with whomever you want. The world would be a pretty boring place if we all looked alike and thought alike. So don't be afraid to be around friends who are different from you. You'll be amazed at what you can learn from them and what they can learn from you. Henry still looked a bit unsure, and that's when Miss Sarah squatted down and got eye to eye with Henry to be sure he heard her message. The best thing you can do for yourself is to be a part of as many groups as you can. Being a part of just one group is boring, so do more, be more, accept more, and be the person who walks bravely into a new group and welcomes others into yours. There is a place for everyone. Find your place and help others find theirs. I hope you guys enjoyed my book. I hope everyone's doing great and not driving your parents too crazy. Um, I'm sure they're driving you crazy. So we're all in the same boat. You guys take care, stay safe, and be well.